Nowadays, we keep hearing about smart investors and their various financial strategies. However, that doesn't mean that millions of millennials already have a smart investment strategy, and that's a problem. You see, millennials in the US will inherit roughly $30 trillion over the next decade or two in what will become the biggest generational wealth transfer in American history. Furthermore, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as any changes in estate tax rules, could end up hastening this process. Process. This means they'll have a lot more money, but not necessarily know how to use it properly. That's why it's so important to know, understand, and implement the best financial strategies. However, do you understand what being a smart investor entails? What about the steps you need to take before you're regarded as one? These are some of the things we'll be talking about today, so sit tight and watch as we delve into this. Welcome to ALUX. How to be a smart investor. First, let's look at the meaning of the term smart investor. A smart investor isn't someone who can make a lot of money in a short period of time. Rather, it's someone who can use available resources to make a steady investment, diversify their portfolio, and accumulate wealth over time. Here's something you might not know about smart investors. They don't invest their money where everyone else is investing their money. Instead, they educate themselves about the market and perform extensive research before investing. This is why renowned billionaire Warren Buffett is known as the wealthiest investor today. With stocks in over 40 companies in the world, Warren Buffett is what you'd call a very smart investor. His investment strategy changed to acquiring stock in companies that he believes are well-managed and undervalued. He tends to hold on to the stocks he buys indefinitely when he makes these purchases. I guess you could call him a financial genius because he's one of the richest men today. So when you think about smart investors today, you'd be crazy not to place Buffett on your list. Being a smart investor like Warren Buffett is complicated, yet it's doable. Let's look at some ways you can achieve this. If possible, start by investing early to gain an edge. As the saying goes, the best time to start investing was yesterday. The second best is right now. You should also be consistent with your investment. We're not talking about investing just once every year. We mean investing in a specific amount each month or quarter. This is the only way you can maintain your financial discipline and reach your financial goals. Having a diversified portfolio should be the next thing on your list. Do you remember the old saying, never put all your eggs in one basket? That statement still holds true today. We all know that making investments comes with its own set of risks, but you won't feel the pressure of these risks risks if you have diversified your investments. We assure you that having different investments can help you to avoid some extreme financial losses in the case of a volatile market. Another important step to take as a financial investor is to build a risk appetite. Yes, we know we just mentioned diversifying your investments is to manage your risk, but every investment itself is a risk, and you can't be an investor without taking some risks. Let's just clarify one thing though. You should measure the level Level of risks you're willing to take. Knowing your financial loss threshold and your tolerance for volatile markets is crucial as it'll help you to secure your financial future. And finally, you should educate yourself and be patient. Don't forget that good things come to those who wait. At least this is a popular saying most people know. And funny enough, this adage also applies to the financial world. Don't be in a rush to delve into the stock market and make profits. Doing so carelessly would be like throwing your money down the drain. But if you make it a habit to learn something new about investing every day, it'll pay off in the long run. And although what we've just said may sound easy, you'll find that even the best investors make mistakes and end up regretting them, even the great Warren Buffett. Despite his investing prowess, Buffett can't read the future from a tarot card or a tea leaf, and he's made his fair share of investment mistakes over the years. Warren Buffett's Investment Regrets Let's take a look at a few. When you've been in the game for a while, you're bound to take some losses, but you might be surprised about what Warren Buffett regrets when it comes to investing. One of his regrets comes from investments we might see as solid, but the man himself feels he could have done better and he might be right. The first example we'll talk about is Berkshire Hathaway. Did you know that Buffett claimed that Berkshire Hathaway was the dumbest stock he ever bought? You know, his multinational conglomerate that's now worth $42.5 billion. Hell, we initially thought the man was joking until we read about the reason behind the statement, and the reason is simple. Back in the 60s, Buffett bought stock in Berkshire Hathaway even though it was a failing company. 
Later, the owner tried to buy the stock back from him. When they tried to chisel him out of more money, Buffett, in anger, bought more stocks of the company and fired the manager. This move left him with a failing company. While he did turn things around, it was not a financial decision born from careful thinking. So I guess you know what lessons to take from this. Never let emotions control your investing decisions. And there are other investment regrets he's had, such as not investing in Amazon early and not investing in in Google. This just goes to show that nobody is perfect and we can't win all the time. Top Financial Strategies to Employ now it's time we actually talked about some of the best financial strategies used by smart investors. We'd given you some tips earlier and now we'll close the deal with these strategies. Honestly, we believe you'll be using them for years to come. Okay, one, stick to an investment plan. There's a common investment maxim, plan your trade and trade your plan. What it basically means is that before you spend a single dime in a company, make sure you know why you're buying or investing in it. It's just as crucial to stick to your plan once you've purchased a stock. And above all, do not become emotionally involved with your trading. Two, don't time the market. A mistake you can make as an investor is chasing performance. Even the best managers occasionally underperform. To generate profits by timing the market, investors must be able to read the market at an almost psychic level. However, this isn't a viable approach according to efficient market theory, and we agree with that theory. Prioritizing time spent in the market by buying and keeping high-quality stocks is considerably less likely to provide huge short-term profits. But the cool thing about it is it can produce long-term riches, since the market historically gains in value over time. And three, be more conservative and avoid doubling down. We all know that investors make bad choices from time to time, but that shouldn't make you throw in more money on a failing investment. If your research is incorrect and the stock fails instead of rising, you've made a mistake. Doubling down on a stock in the hopes of recouping your losses is akin to wasting more of your money. It's a sunk cost fallacy. Although doubling down occasionally pays off, it's more of a lottery technique than an investing strategy. Be cautious and don't let past losses influence your future your decisions. And that's all for today, Aluxer. Since you stuck around, here's a fun tidbit. Did you know that there is an investment strategy that basically revolves around going against the current? It's called contrarian investing and it's famously associated with Warren Buffett's quote, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful.